Merhaba arkadaşlar. So these are more of my uh, politics and history books. Uh, it's a bit messy. Not only is it organized messy, but this it's not like half of the stack is like Russian history, then the rest is like Turkish history, then the rest is all over the place. So let's start off with this. Uh, Chernobyl, a history of Chernobyl. I saw this in the bookstore and it's an interesting enough topic to actually warrant buying the book, so I got it. Uh, the Red Famine. This is a, one of the books on, on Russian history I have. Uh, I believe this is actually a pretty controversial topic. A lot of people who like Stalin don't agree with the, the takes on the Red Famine. Uh, Putin's Russia. I've seen this book a bunch of times. I think I finally looked up reviews on it and people said it was good. I think there's a problem with modern Russian history books being a bit too bi biased. I believe, and I think this is one that was okay. I believe there's a newer edition of this as well. Uh, the First Socialist Society, A History of the Soviet Union from Within. Um, that's a very controversial take as well. People say that like uh, Russia wasn't truly a socialist country. You know, that is a, that's a very hashed and old debate. Uh, states in Disguise, Causes of State Support for Rebel Groups. I got this book recently. Um, yeah, I think I was looking at books on uh, the Taliban and this book came up. So I got it. I think it's going to be a fun book to read. Probably a lot of Syrian history in there. Uh, Sun Tzu, The Art of War. I have like four or five of copies of this book for some reason. <laughs> um, the Human Web, A Bird's Eye View of World History. So this is just like a world history book. It's gonna go over like important events and uh, geography and stuff like this. Um, I haven't really gotten into world history yet, but I do have a lot of books that I'm ready to read on world history and that would be exciting. So looking forward to that. The Prince, obviously, uh, in Machiavelli. I read this book, I don't really agree with all of it. That being said, I could see why some people would agree with it, uh, but I think it places too much emphasis on like individuals inside uh, politics and not enough emphasis on systems and, and chance. Um, yeah, it's a good book though, I still, I still recommend reading it. What is America? A Short History of the world, New World Order. Uh, fun book. I don't agree with everything inside of it, obviously, but also a fun book. This is an old book I got um, for a politics class like four or five years ago. No, maybe six, maybe even seven. Uh, it's falling apart now, but it's just like key concepts and foundations. Nothing special. If you don't know anything about politics, then maybe read it. Um, the Great Speech. This is a no-brainer if you want to study Turkish history or understand modern Turkish thought. It's a no-brainer. Obviously, read this book. <laughs> um, here is another Mustafa Kemal Ataturk book. Uh, this book you'll see everywhere in Turkey. So if you ever go to a bookstore in Turkey, you're probably going to see this or the Andrew Mango book. I mean, it's at this point, I saw it so many times that I got it. Now, a lot of people recommended this to me. So you should definitely get that. Uh, Turkey's Nuclear Future. This is a very important book. Uh, there's a lot of uh, deals between, I think, Japan and Turkey. I think Japan was building Turkey's nuclear power plants, and then they backed out. Uh, I believe Turkey wants to be nuclear in the future. Um, so this is actually a quite an important book. It's an important issue for Turkey as well, because oil inside Turkey is a very uh, political issue, and there's always issues with neighbors when it comes to oil, so that I think another a power source is good. And also the, I mean, yeah, I don't wanna get into it, but the, like the CO2 emissions from traffic in Turkey is crazy. Um, the Turkish economy in crisis. Uh, this is about the, the financial crisis in Turkey in 2001. Turkey actually had a very um, unique response to the 2008 financial crisis as well. Uh, they did exactly the opposite of what the rest of the world was doing. And there's a lot of evidence to suggest that what they did was actually better than what the rest of the world was doing. Uh, the political economy, uh, financial transformation in Turkey. Uh, I believe this is about like wealth inequality, uh, investments. Um, 
you can even see like basically the image on the cover of the book captures it really well. There's these really big buildings next to these very uh, older and more rundown uh, buildings. You have this kind of what happens in India where lower class and upper class will live next to each other. And there'll be a lot of mixing of the classes in, in, in housing. Um, so that's what this book is about. Good book to read. Uh, Near and Middle East Economic Handbook. Um, this is an expensive book. Uh, this is just basically the data on economic development and the economies of Middle Eastern countries. It doesn't actually read like a linear book. You just you find the country you want to read about, and then it'll give you data on that country. Uh, it's more of like a reference book than a book you're supposed to read through. But if you're a nerd on Middle Eastern politics and economics, then you're going to read through the whole book. I, did I touch this stack? I didn't, okay. Uh, the Future of Turkish Foreign Policy. This is another good book to read if you're interested in Turkish foreign policy. You should put that on your reading list. Uh, this is a more new one. I haven't read this yet. Turkey's Foreign Policy in the 21st Century. Um, a book on nationalism that I saw in a bookstore. Uh, I, read, I want to get this because almost every country that I study is really big on nationalism, like uh, Japan, uh, Germany. Well, Germany has a phobia against nationalism, but most Germans are pretty proud of their country. Um, Turkey, uh, most countries in the Middle East are pretty nationalist. So, yeah, uh, Russia, Russia is very nationalist. Uh, Energy and its uh, civilization, history. This is a good book. Bill Gates recommended this book, but I saw this book in the bookstore a couple of times, and uh, it, it was a good supplement to go alongside uh, the history of oil, or oil power and war. So, good book. Oh, and here is Oil Power and War, uh, Dark History. It's just basically a history of oil. I strongly recommend reading it, especially if you want to understand uh, foreign politics for most countries. I think there's a few variables that are really important for understanding foreign politics. Uh, or foreign affairs, foreign policy for most countries, and it's labor uh, and natural resources. Those are like probably the two biggest ones. Um, you see with China, for example, that they want to turn Africa into a factory for China, Well, China is the factory for the rest of the world, right? It's always trying to get cheaper, cheaper, and cheaper labor. Uh, but also oil is another important variable. Um, Turkey's foreign policy was, uh, revolves around oil to some extent. Um, same with America, uh, Russia as well, actually. So yeah, it's an important thing to, to read about. Political order and political decay. So I haven't read any of this guy's books, or her, I don't know if it's her or him. Francis Fukuyama. People say he's good, or she's good. So I'm basically just collecting all of his books. Every time I see one, I'll get it. I haven't read it yet. Um, capitalism and freedom. I don't know why this is in the history section. I would maybe, I don't know. No-brainer, obviously. It's just a classic Milton Friedman uh, work. Whether you agree with him or not, he's an important writer. War in European history. This is like a small little reference book, basically. Just quickly read it and you'll get a better understanding of, of where you need to start looking. I do want to get into uh, European history. The Balkans, 1804 to 2012, nationalism, war, and great powers. This is an extremely complex area, hence why the book is so big. I actually spent a lot of time looking for a, uh, a systematic book on the Balkans. And then once I go through it, maybe I'll study each country individually. Uh, a complete history of the USSR, a Russian history book. Um, Stalin, The Court of the Red Star. I believe this is just a book on Stalin. Rutledge Handbook of Russian Politics and Society. I believe I've said this a few times. Whenever I study a country, I'll get an Oxford Handbook or a Rutledge Handbook that gives like a general overview of important areas. Uh, that's what this book really is. It goes over like democracy, media, uh, foreign policy, uh, society, so like culture, stuff like that. Those are good books. The Rutledge Handbook of Turkish Politics. I enjoyed this book, and I think this book gave me like a good foundational understanding of Turkish politics. Um, I think it's a bit dated now, but there is also a new one that came out, the Rutledge Handbook of Turkish Society, which I don't think is the same. 
Um, but yeah, this book will give you a good uh, understanding of Turkish politics, which is just a good starting point. Turkish politics is pretty, pretty complex. A lot of people who don't study it usually get it wrong. Um, anyways, Rutledge Handbook of International Relations in the Middle East. Uh, again, this will give you a good understanding of how countries relate to one another in the Middle East. Just like a good foundational text. If you want to get started on that, you want to get introduced to that area. Good book to start with. Um, the Secret World, A History of Intelligence. I've seen a lot of these books lately. There's like a book that just came out recently, like The History of the CIA. There was another one about like uh, a history of spies in the Ottoman Empire. I've seen a few of them. And uh, to be honest, I think I just wanted a book at the, that point in time to like pick up because I was in a bookstore and that's where I got this. It is a very fat book. I think it's like 900 pages. Uh, but yeah, it's a book. <laughs> Uh, Empire, how Britain made the modern world. I actually don't know much about like the the British conquering of the world, surprisingly, since it's such a big event, and that's why I got this book. Um, so I'll, I'll definitely check this out. Upheaval, Jared Diamond. Again, this is just uh, like one of these people who everybody reads. I've read some Jared Diamond books, uh, so I figured I would get this when I saw it. I think it was in the bookstore, and I was like, oh, you know what, Jared Diamond, I'll grab it. I'm sure I'll get all of his books and read them. Um, the Whispers, Private Life in Stalin's Russia. This actually intrigued me. It's like a sociology of how people lived, like a sociological history of people living in Stalin's Russia. And they talked about like how people spoke with one another as a result of Stalin, how people, pursue, yeah, like the pursuit of happiness, um, working, just like the ordinary day-to-day -day stuff and how it was impacted by living in Stalin's Russia. Um, investing in the Middle East, the political economy of European direct investment in Egypt. Uh, I don't know why I have this, actually. But that being said, it's a fun book. Turkey, Iran, relations, 1979 to 2004. So obviously this is old, but if you want to understand the history of it, it's a good book. Turkey-Syria relations. Um, I got this because of the conflict that was going on between Turkey and Syria. This is a dated book. It's not the most recent, but it will still give you a good context because I, the history of Turkey and Syria between one another is also important to understand the modern conflict and why they're not so willing to trust each other. The philosophy of curiosity should not be in this stack. I have no clue why this is here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to move that. Um, political psychology. Uh, Turkish political behavior. I like political psychology. I also like consumer psychology. And I figured this will be a nice compliment to some of the books I have. It's not that I wanted to know about the subject. It was just a nice compliment. And Turkish banking. This should also not be in here. Okay. So that's some more politics and history section. I think the next section is also politics and history. So with that being said, choose.